Good morning. You're watching Breakfast Television 918. It is Monday, which means The Bachelorette finale airs tonight. So we thought, why not bring in the wedding lady? Why not bring in some engagement rings? We've got Chris here from Harlings Jewelers. Welcome to the show. Thank you very much. So what do you think of this whole trend of ladies' choice? Uh, <laughs> it's new. It's different. Um, I've only experienced it once, uh, a lady coming in and buying a ring for her man. I think women are becoming a lot more involved in the purchase. I think this is probably the single biggest jewelry purchase for someone. So they want to get someone involved. If guys want a surprise, maybe they can get someone involved in the styles. Um, and then the proposal, the when, the size, that will all be the all spice. Right. Well, you got some men's options as got far some as men's engagement options. rings. The traditional yellow gold is really a thing of the past. Most guys now are doing something with a matte finish to give it a little bit more life. Uh, guys are actually doing some, uh, they're putting maybe uh, their girlfriend, fiance's uh, 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 like colored stone color in the okay. inside of the shank. They're putting diamonds around the perimeter, around the inside edge. Um, small diamonds, nothing big, flush, guys are a little more active, so you want to be a little bit more cognizant of, of the lifestyle. Yeah, I find men really don't, I don't see a whole lot of sparkle and bling no, uh, no. when it comes to it's men's It's becoming things. a little more fashionable, but that's, uh, guys are harder on their jewelry. Okay, now yeah. you've got some real uh, upcoming trends as we far do. as the engagement This rings. is to Corey. DeCorey, of course, is known for The Bachelor. This is The Bachelorette. Uh, that's how they branded themselves. Uh, you have a uh, three stone ring, which represents the past, present, the future. You've got uh, rings that, what they're, what they're known for is is the crescent silhouette, so all the detailing along the side of the ring. Okay. So that's probably one of the in-styles that are popular. The other in-style is a frame of diamonds around the center. Brings a little more focus and makes the diamond uh, look a little bit more bigger. We've got some stones on there. Okay. I didn't want to bring everything that was all more expensive stones, so we tried to bring a cross-section of diamonds and rings that represent a $10,000 budget, some over there that you can still get that look and only spend $2,000. Well, $2, let's talk budget, and we're going to talk a little bit about some other trends that are coming up, and I'm going to pick this one up here yeah. right now as we get to doing that. But, okay, we hear two months' salary. Yeah. Is that accurate? Is that what Two to three be months. Thinking? The Diamond Promotion Service has done a wonderful job educating people that way. I think two to three months is really your sweet spot. But I, if I could really educate most guys, it's, it's all about understanding the cut of the diamond. The cut really represents about 90% of the overall brilliance of the stone. Color second, and then I would say the size of the stone should be determined on your budget. Okay, so yeah. speaking of color, one of the biggest trends that, of course, we all saw J-Lo and a number of mm -hmm. other uh, celebrities wear is like the yellow stone. And I'm wearing one right now. We can maybe get a close-up of yep. this one here. Yep. So this is a, a GI certified yellow diamond. Not everyone has a budget that can... That How can, much would this go for? This is $30,000. I'm sorry, it doesn't come off. J-Lo oh. was $10 million. Okay. Not everyone has that budget, so you can improvise a little bit in economies of scale. You can do yellow sapphires, pink sapphires. They're semi-precious stones. They uh, are a little more susceptible to the hitting, the scratching, the general wear and tear. So you want to be a little bit more cognizant about how you set it. This is in a bezel setting. Right. You have other semi-bezel settings. So depending on the lady's lifestyle, she's a nurse and she's active that's probably the setting you're going to go So when you're looking you. at an active lifestyle, someone who's working with their hands, it's going yep. to get banged around a yep. little bit, then something like this with a bezel setting. That's right. I mean, obviously, one of the trends, as I was saying, the micro pave around on the sides and the top, higher settings are popular. If you're active, that's probably not the thing. I, I find women are becoming a lot more... Um, uh, cognizant of what they're doing if they don't want to go into a jewelry store every six months to have their rings retipped. All right. So yeah. we are looking at various things like color, cut. You know, in a perfect world, yeah. you would always want the best of everything. Yeah. Not everyone has the budget for no. that, right? So what would be the, the next spot? best thing? Yeah. I'd say your sweet spot in terms of color clarity would be an FG color. Okay. A VS2 to SI1 clarity. Which means what? There's very little imperfection or That's there's a right. little bit yeah. imperfection? Yeah. You will not be able to see okay. it to the naked eye. All right. Yeah. And then we've got some great options. These are great standbys for someone who doesn't know what their yeah. Yeah. budget all those rings that you're pointing to, those are between $1,500 and $2,000. Okay. So you're still getting the, the look. These are all white gold as opposed to platinum. Um, white gold is a mixture of 75% gold, 25% silver, palladium. The old way was nickel. Uh, a lot of women had uh, allergic reactions to nickel, so uh, everything today is mixed with silver and palladium. And I find with the white gold, the only thing you really have to do is you have to make sure you get it rhodium plated every so often to get that oh, shine once back, right? Once every 12 to 15 yeah. months, and then you get that platinum look okay. without paying the pat platinum price. And if you could say your choice of what Jillian would like to see, what would you say? I've been told uh, very simple. So I think she would probably gravitate to more almost very simple, almost similar to your engagement okay. ring. <laughs> very simple here or in a Takori look. I was, where's the one I was pointed to? Um, 
this, these two here. These two right yeah, here. Just with some simple, some simple signs. Well, stones. we shall see. We don't know if she's going to pick a bachelor or if he's going to pick her I don't know. or what's going to happen. We'll have to watch the finale tonight on City TV at eight o'clock. Honestly, I can't get this off, Chris. I'm sorry. That's okay. <laughs> I'll get it off. Speaking of rocks, here's your top five rock downloads. Honestly, I can't get it off. That's sorry. Thirty thousand dollars, you say? Oh. Perfect. <laughs> we got a sale. Oh, I got it. <laughs>